Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Webflow website builder. And more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video, and that is how do you edit the mobile version of your website with Webflow? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to edit the mobile version of your website in Webflow anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes your users use computers or sometimes they use their phone to view your website. And sometimes you add items into your website builder that look fine on the computer, but when the users use it on their phone, it looks kind of weird. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process to arrange that. It's handled here in the Webflow dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my dashboard and this is the home page. It's going to show all your websites in Webflow. You can see I just have this one. And so you're going to need to choose the website. So I'll choose this one and just click on open designer. Okay. Once you click there, you will be in the website designer for Webflow. And in order to go ahead and edit the mobile version of your website builder, generally you're going to want to go ahead and switch over to the page that you want to edit that's having the problem. So up here on the left, just click on the little page icon. Once you do that, you're going to see all the pages you have with your Webflow website, and then just choose the page that you want to go ahead and edit. So I'll choose this one about. Okay, so here we are. So if you look through the website, everything looks good. However, on the top right here, the cool thing about Webflow is they have these different variations. So over here is the mobile version. So if you look on the mobile, maybe this video is off to the left or it's not aligned. You can go ahead and edit just the mobile version by here. So let me go ahead and click here on this video. Okay, once you do that, you're going to see the editor here on the right. So you can go ahead and edit the video or whatever it is you want to change. And then you can kind of move it around depending on what your needs are. So let me go ahead and add a little padding here. Okay, you can see I'm kind of moving it around. So whatever happens here, it's going to just be on the mobile version. So let me go ahead. Okay, so now it looks maybe it's better for the mobile version right here. And then it's not going to take place until you click on publish here on the top. Okay, now it's published. Let me close this out. Also, let's say that maybe on the mobile version, you don't need all of these words here. You can go ahead and just click into it. Okay, so let me go ahead and just start deleting this. So I'm just clicking the delete button once the blue box is around the section I don't want. Okay, so that cleaned it up for the mobile version. And same thing, we're going to go ahead and publish it. Okay, now it's finished. So now we have edited the mobile version of our website. And then if we go back here to the desktop version, okay, you can see here on the desktop version, the video didn't change. So we only changed the mobile version of our website. And you can go ahead and click in here. This is going to be a tablet version right here. And then this is going to be a mobile, but landscape. So when people turn their phone off over to the side. So anytime you make a change on your Webflow website builder on the desktop, I would recommend that you go ahead and verify that the change looks okay in the mobile and the tablet version as well. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to edit the mobile version of your Webflow website builder, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.